Thermit Welding To understand how thermit welding is carried out, let us weld two railway tracks along their ends using thermit welding. First, pour the hot molten wax between the gaps of the tracks to form a wax pattern. Then, install a welding setup around the rail ends as shown. Now bring a box containing thermit mixture, which is basically a mixture of aluminium and iron oxide. The mixture also consists of a very minimal amount of igniting mixture like barium peroxide. Place this box on top of the welding setup. And then ignite the whole mixture. We see that due to fire, both the aluminium and iron oxide react with each other. As a result, aluminium, which has high affinity with oxygen, reacts with the iron oxide to form aluminium oxide and iron. This reaction is exothermic in nature. Thus, a large amount of heat gets released, and this results in the formation of superheated molten metal, which consists of molten aluminium oxide and molten iron. We see that the molten iron being heavier settles at the bottom and the molten aluminium oxide being lighter flows on the top. After some time the molten iron flows out of the box from the opening present at the bottom of the box and enters the welding setup which consists of a cavity around the joint. The extra molten iron then moves out of the cavity and falls on the tray. Now leave the molten iron for some time to solidify around the joint. Then remove the box and trays first and then the welding setup. We see that the solidified molten iron is formed at the joint. Note that the extra iron metal can be removed with the help of grinder.